Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is uh, Kiddus James um, here. I am an ItWorks distributor and I just wanted to share something that uh, I have come across that I've learned and excuse me if I look down a couple of times because I'm, I took my notes because I just wanted to make sure I kind of hit all my points that um, I, I wanted to cover. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research and one of the things that I've been doing is trying to help myself um, figure out why is it that like a lot of people don't uh, have success? Why are they perceived as unsuccessful? And one of the things that I've learned is just basically they lack the confidence. They are perceived as lacking confidence um, to step out of their comfort zone and just do something that is different. And I know I have went through this myself. And so I have discovered some of the things that um, you can do to conquer those fears. It's just basically just do it just get over yourself and just do it uh we have a tendency um to focus a lot on the visual um, aspect of what we want to do to be perceived and there's two things that you can do you have your visual and your unvisual is that i think that's the correct way uh ways of perceiving things and most people see the visual act they see uh, you're rewarded for what you're actually doing, what they see you're doing, what they perceive you're doing. They're not really looking at the background, what you're, you're doing in the background to get there. So a lot of times to be perceived as successful and to really um, be taken seriously, people are watching, well, what are you doing? And in regards to your network business, which I had to really implement myself, which I have learned, is to share, you know, your success, share what you're doing. So if you are getting customers, you know, thank your customers, welcome your customers, share, let people know, yes, you are helping people out. If you're getting business partners, welcome your business partners, your team members, um, let people know what's going on. If you're growing, your business is growing. A lot of people look at that and consider that successful. Um, they're not really paying attention to the, if, you know, the work behind what going what goes into becoming successful. Um, all the people you have called, no one's interested in the um, the unvisual side of your business. Um, the next thing that I was um, checking out was that you have to basically just conquer your fears. And the only way to conquer your fears is just do it. No one is um, comes into uh, business just knowing what to do, knowing how to do it. It's just like you got to just kind of jump out on faith and do it and just figure it out as you go. Um, I know my first time talking to a customer, I had no idea what I was talking about, what, where to go, how to do it, and I was fearful, so I kind of held myself back uh, because I was like, well, what if I'm perceived as um, un uninformed or not, or not well-versed or not smart or not even just qualified enough, and I was really nervous on how I was being perceived. Instead of just conquering my, my fears and just jumping out and doing it and going, you know, and learning along the process, um, you will never know how far you can go. So when you conquer your fears and you just do it, that's one way of you um, showing that you can progress. The next thing um, is to speak your ideas and your thoughts. No matter how ridiculous they may seem, how how stupid you may think they may sound, just speak them. Because if you're sitting in the background and no one hears your thoughts, no one sees where, where, where your mind is thinking and how you think it, you are not going to be noticed. No one's going to give you recognition. The, the person in the quiet that knows everything but keeping the knowledge to themselves does not get recognition. Um, you have to jump out there and share your ideas. You know, tonight we had a team meeting. Um, it was just only a handful of us, and we have a very large team. And it was just a handful of us who were like, yes, we're going to jump out here. You know, we're going to um, put our ideas in. And no, everyone's idea was not used. No, everyone's input was not used. But everyone who was in that team meeting was recognized as a leader because you just jumped. You put your ideas out there. You spoke, and you put yourself um in the forefront for those who you want to be noticed by. And you can use this whether it's in your job, 
um, if you're interested in staying in your job and um, going through the ranks, you know, when you go to those meetings, you just can't sit there and not say anything because no one's going to notice you. No one's going to um, remember you. No one's going to take you seriously. Uh, the next thing is just to be very strategic. Be, stre um, uh, 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 be strategic in everything you do. Um, one of the things that um, I have learned not only strategic, but I'm very intentional on everything that I do in my business. Everything I do, I, I have to plan my day out very uh, methodically because I work full time. Mm -hmm. I have a, I'm a stay, uh, I have a, a daughter who I run back and forth to the doctor, and eventually I have some other uh, things that I will be doing, like school and what have you. So a lot of times I can say I don't have time to um, be successful in my business, but I'm still able to talk to my customers, um, talk to potential business partners, because when I get up, I'm very strategic about my day. And so when you get up, like for me in my business, I get up, I know that I'm going to be on Metro, I'm going to be walking down the street, I know I got to go eat, I know I have to, I go to the store. So everything I do, I'm very strategic so that I may not be intentionally ready to be talking to someone about my business, but I am prepared for when someone is ready to speak with me, I'm there. So whether I have my bracelet on and someone says, oh, what is that? I'm ready to talk to them. I have my, um, I have a charger. I have my business on it. So if someone sees me charging my phone and they're like, oh, what is that? And I can sit and tell, tell them when I go to a restaurant and I guess order a drink, I'll have my samples of greens, I'll put them in my drink. So if the waitress sees it, she'll ask me what I'm drinking. Um, I'll put my business cards on the table while I'm eating. So that they ask me, I can have a conversation naturally with them. But I don't have to make myself go out my way to try to find someone because I have in my mind the intention to speak to five to ten people a day. But I'm not looking at people as targets. I just make it so that it's easy to make a conversation. So you have to be very strategic in everything that you do. Um, you have to, whether it is posting, whether it is going out on your day, incorporating yourself in your day, um, even in your workplace. Uh, if you want to be noticed, you have to be strategic about uh, water cooler conversations or what have you. Um, the next thing is also be to the point, be precise. Um, you know, people don't have time, when, you, especially if you're a network marketer, people don't have time for you to go around the bush, you know, to say, oh, I need to talk to you about this and drag the conversation. Get to the point. I have X, Y, Z for you. I think this would be great for you. Um, I would love to sit and talk to you more right now. This is not a time because if I'm going to meet someone who I happen to meet, whether I'm in the subway or what have you, no one wants to hear a presentation while you're on your way to your day job. No one wants to hear a presentation when they're trying to sit down and have a um, nice meal with their family. No one wants to hear a presentation when they're rushing to go pick their kids up from school. So be to the point, just say, oh, great, I'd love to talk to you more. Here's my business card. What is your number? Give me your number, and then you can schedule a time later. Um, someone who sees that you are to the point, you don't look so desperate. You don't look like you're like you need them. They realize, okay, you must have a lot going on. You're to the point because you're also in a hurry to get where you need to go. So it's very important to be um, to the point. And the best way to um, be seen as successful and, and, and to know that you have courage is to practice confidence. Just practice it. Do things that make you uncomfortable. Do things that take you out of your comfort zone. And don't care what other people think. Don't care what other people say. Just do it. Just do it because no one else is going to pay your paycheck. No one else is going to take care of your family. No one else is going to be concerned if your business is successful or not. No one cares if you get promoted. Only you do. So just practice and be confident. And the last thing is for those who don't know, and I might do another time for that, is the five second rule. One, two, three, four, five, do it. Practice the five second rule. When you feel yourself hesitating, 
don't do it. Just count one, two, three, four, five, and then do it. If you see someone you want to talk to, one, two, three, four, five, go speak with them, be to the point, give them the information, leave. If you have an idea you want to get across to your job so that you can get a promotion, just do it. One, two, three, four, five, speak out. Um, because the thing is, if you don't put yourself out there, if you show a lack of conf uh, confidence, if you are quiet and in the cut, no one is going to take you serious. No one's going to uh, see what you are doing. No one's going to perceive you as successful or knowledgeable. And then you will be perceived as um, not uh, why you cannot get ahead. So these are the things that I've learned to help myself um, get ahead in my business. And since I've been implementing them, I have seen an increase and a definite change. And if you're just joining in, definitely watch the replay. Um, I am Kiddish James. I'm a future triple uh, diamond leader with It Works Global. And I appreciate you all taking this time and listening to what I had to say. Good night. Peace.